I'm here with Susie Falco, Certified Holistic Health Coach. Today she's going to be talking to us about her upcoming health and wellness seminar series, Whole Body You. Susie, can you talk to us a little bit today about the Wellness 101, the Weight Loss 101 that you're going to be doing? Weight Loss 101, yes. Weight Loss 101 I'm probably the most excited about because um, so many people, especially women, are marketed um, in an inappropriate way where they think that certain foods will help them to lose weight, um, certain diet programs will help them lose weight, but really they don't. They No diets work, so what I talk about is healthy eating, um, I give um, little cooking demonstrations, which I will do on that night. I have a little double burner that I'll be cooking some food so everybody gets a little bit of a taste. They can watch me. That's exciting. Pair some foods, and I'll hand out the recipes, and I'll show them all the different um, ingredients that they might have never seen before, one being quinoa, which is a very delicious, high-protein grain that I use in a lot of my cooking, and it's great for weight loss because it's very easily to, um, digested and it's got a lot of protein in it, and in the, the glycemic index is very low, which I will talk about um, at the seminar. I'll even give little healthy, even though I'm not into frozen foods or like packaged foods, I'll give you certain brands that I really like and brands that I really don't like um, for a little insurance um, in your freezer for when you don't have time to cook, and maybe some information that you never heard before. For instance, um, virgin coconut oil even though it's considered a saturated fat and it's got a lot of fat in it, it's the good fat and it really does help with weight loss. Um, and along with just some information about, oh, like misinformation, this is a little, it's not a real egg, it's a little plastic egg for my granddaughter's play kitchen, but misinformation, I have many people think that egg beaters and egg whites are the way to go when I'll teach you the science behind how um, the whole egg is the best. So, so I have a weight loss question for sure. you. I've used a lot of weight loss and diet programs in the past. Can you talk to me about how your program ideas or your weight loss seminar ideas can help with that? Yes, basically I learned in the school I went to, I learned a hundred different dietary philosophies from the peanut butter diet to the cabbage soup diet to the paleo diet to the Atkins diet, Jenny Craig Weight Watchers. None of them work. They're, they're, they're all diets, and diets um, long-term don't work. I basically just teach you lifestyle, healthy lifestyle eating, and that you, you sort of have to get back to um, cooking, organizing, grocery shopping, and preparing. And I just give you, um, you know, all the information on what you need to accomplish your... It's not just about the weight loss. It's about your energy levels. It's about, you know, skin in your hair. It's everything. We, we really are what we eat. So if you're eating, um, you know, processed foods, like, say, from Jenny Craig... You um you won't you won't feel you won't feel great. You might lose the weight, but that's it's great, not in your Susie. Best Thank yeah, you. Sure. I was also curious because I noticed that you're gonna be doing on March fourteenth the organic eating basics. Mm -hmm. What's the benefit of organic eating? Because when I go to the supermarket, all I see is the price tag, and I honestly, know. no, very very true. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're right about that. I will basically give I'll give you a list of. Um, foods that you really should buy organic all the time it's it's the dirty dozen so i will give you um the foods to stay away from that are dirty and the foods to stay away from that are labeled organic that you don't really have to worry so much about and give you um some good ideas on how to save money buying organic like um, the bulk section in certain stores um really easy recipes how to stretch your dollar and that you know what to what to um, not buy and what to buy, sort of like eat this, not that, and upgrade. That's great, because yeah. I know especially in this economy, I'd love yeah, to save a dollar if I can while eating I healthy. Help. Yeah, and just one example of an organic product. These are organic black beans. It's like a dollar ninety nine a can. I make brownies, believe it or not, that I'm going to make um, like antacide, which some I'm going to do it for, but black bean brownies end up being very, very inexpensive, and I'll also talk about why, um, even though cans are not great, I'm sure you've heard about the BPA and the lining, there are certain brands I can give you, like Eden is BPA free lining, so I know all the different products and what, you know, which ones to stay away from, which ones to, um, to purchase. That's awesome. Do I need to bring anything with me to these seminars? No, nope. you can bring a little notebook and pen if you want to take some notes, um, I guess. But I'm going to be giving you your some handouts, and I'm going to be giving out recipes along with your little um, samples of food. So I don't really think you need to bring anything unless you're the type that really needs to write everything down. So it's really it's really up to you. We get food at your seminar? That's yes, cool. Yes, you get some food. I haven't decided. I know I'm going to make some quinoa. Um, and I'm also going to teach about even 
things that maybe you've never heard of before. I know you obviously know how important green vegetables are, but this is um, kombu, which is a seaweed, which is seasoned with sea salt and um, onion, but they come in all flavors. And you might say, ew, you know, seaweed, but if you ever had the California rolls, you know, like the sushi, even if you don't eat the, um, you don't like the raw fish, but you have the yeah. roll, this is actually what the roll is. And um, sea vegetables are loaded with phytonutrients and um, just incredible properties and they, they help with weight loss but they also help with mood which I will connect to um, another seminar that I'm doing and even my kids like this so oh cool it's a good brain food, it's a really good brain food. <laughs> I can use that with all the studying <laughs> I can use it too yes so the food and mood that's your seminar on March 28th correct Correct. awesome yeah. what times are these seminars meeting they're again 6 30 they're about an hour long I might go because I tend to be chatty as everybody in the office knows so I tend to go sometimes a little over but it should be one hour um, and I like I said I bought a little burner to um, burn a little portable burner so I will be cooking it will be down you know in the basement but it'll be safe and I'll be cooking and wow I'm excited so the food and mood what are you going to be talking about with that what what does food have anything to do with my mood it has a lot it, it, basically you are what you eat that's what I try to tell people we really are what we eat and what we drink um, and one of my professors the school that I went to is, her name is Julia Ross and she's a she is a nutritional scientist so she studies she had studied um, she had a master's in nutrition but the science behind it and how it affects your brain chemistry and how it affects your mood. And it's really remarkable, um, especially if you're not eating enough of the healthy fats that I'm sure you've heard about, enough of your green vegetables. Um, I will be discussing this at length because this is very uh, close to home for me with um, depression and anxiety and things like that. It really helps. It's a natural way of boosting your mood and, um, and keeping your blood sugar you know, level during the day. So this Wow, that's great. I never knew that food could kind of do that. You are what you eat, right? That's, <laughs> that's why it's hard, especially when, um, you know, if you have a child in college or you are a college student who's going to be attending the seminar, you know, eating ramen noodles and drinking coffee, you know, donuts. Coffee you know. brought me through my sophomore yeah, year in college. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just, I know it's hard with younger people, but just as long as you're educated and you, if you know that there's an actual science, it's not just your mother telling you to eat your vegetables or eat, you know, eat healthy. There's real science behind this. So, so you're going to tell us why everybody shouldn't run on Dunkin's? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, I'm really I'll, excited. I'll have a lot of enemies probably by the, <laughs> by the end of the seminar. But. Well, I'm really excited about this, Susie. Thanks for taking the time sure. to talk to me about your seminar, and I really can't wait to, to see what you have to bring yeah, to the table. It'll be great. All right. Thanks so much. Okay. See you then.